Imagine if Google let you search for IP, smart fridges, factory devices, security cameras, webcams, all online. That is pretty much what Shodan is, which is what we will be going over in today's video. So this is Shodan. This is the dashboard. We have getting started. What is Shodan? Search query fundamentals, working with Shodan data files. We have ASCII videos analyzing the vulnerabilities for a network, developer access, APIs, looking up IP information, all the fun stuff. Gotta love a good API. Anyway, so when you're searching for stuff on Shodan, they kind of have their own search query. For example, if you've ever used Seam or like Splunk, Elk, things like that, you know that they have their own kind of query language. So Shodan has its own query language. As you can see, you have some examples here. The filters, cheat sheet. Shodan currently crawls nearly 4,000 ports across the internet. Wow, that's a lot of ports. Here are a few of the most commonly used search filters to get started. So we have city, you can search for devices in San Diego, country, open ports in the United States, HTTP.title, hacked websites, all of this. If you don't know what OSINT is, open source intelligence, I think that's what that stands for. <laughs> I have not explained the acronym out loud before. Yeah, source intelligence. Yes, it does stand for open source intelligence. Just Googled it. So it is all public. It is all openly available. None of this, what you are about to be doing is illegal because all of this is publicly available information. So had to get that disclaimer out there. So here are some examples of what we could search for. Databases, network infrastructure, video games, Ethereum miner, Apple AirPlay receivers, uh, access controls for door and lock, wind turbines. But for this example, let's say I wanted to search every server ever running Apache. So we do search Apache, run that bad boy, and boom, 18 million running Apache. So you can just see all the servers, all the countries, Lots in the U.S. Yeah, just the patchy stuff going on. So let's just say I'm clicking on this one, whatever this is. So you can see over there the open ports, 25, 80, 110, 143, um, things like that. Host names, Covenant EDU. Um, and you see the domains, Covenant EDU, United States and Lookout Mountain. Down here under my head, you can see the Apache HTTPD 302 found at kepler.covenant.edu. TCP stuff, SSL certificate stuff. But yeah, lots of lots of stuff going on. So, so that is what you see when you click into an IP when you search Apache. Now, we're looking into Covenant EDU and we have all of the um, domain records here and we have the subdomains, which all of this very powerful in the hands of someone bad, but all of it is public. So what can you do when stuff is misconfigured? Um, so yeah, domains here, their C name, their other Instagram, their login, portal, cure, SoundCloud, go off, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, so yeah, um, that's interesting. I'm just going down a rabbit hole, but you guys are gonna go with me. Okay, um, portal, portal? Alvin01 sounds interesting, the fuck? Anyway, by the way, if you're curious about how real world attackers and defenders you showed in, in real life scenarios, this video is sponsored by TryHackMe. And TryHackMe has a bunch of hands-on interactive cybersecurity lessons, designed for all skill levels. Lots of modules for you to learn many topics about cybersecurity. They even have their own Shodan.io room. Learn about Shodan.io and how to use it for device enumeration. Is your coffee machine publicly accessible? Dry Hack Me helps you go from zero to practical skills, all with fun, interactive lessons and modules. So if you want to get started with Try Hack Me today, Link in the description, as always. Thank you to Try Hack Me for sponsoring this video. Now, back to our regularly scheduled
programming. So all of that information is super helpful for security researchers or attackers um, to look for vulnerable services. Another one we can do, view if SSH is exposed. So to do that, port 22, because port 22 is SSH. And if you don't know what SSH is, it's something very bad if left open. <laughs> Basically, remoting in, which is bad. Indiana University, open ports 22. Yep. And you can see the list of their vulnerabilities. Apparently down here, three critical ones. A 9.8. The client in open SSH before 7.2 mishandles failed cookie generation for untrusted X. 11 forwarding and relies on the local X11 server for access control decisions, which allows remote X11 clients to trigger a fallback and obtain trusted X11 forwarding privileges by leveraging configuration issues on the X11 server. Yay. So a very high security vulnerability right there. Another one we can do, target a specific organization. So we go org, quotes, because it's a string, Comcast, enter. And all the Comcast stuff going on. You can see all the open ports. It says 22 is open. You can see their domains. Uh, Microsoft FTPD. Following commands are recognized for FTPD. Sheesh. <laughs> Web technologies. WordPress. You can see the version. Uh, MySQL database. Programming language. PHP. And jQuery. Easy pie chart. Let's fucking go. And the vulnerabilities. Which one? They have a 9.8. Integer overflow and resulted buffer overflow that allows attackers to execute arbitrary code or eliminate expected cryptographic properties. Hell yeah. Nice. So comcastbusiness.net, we can click. It'll load into the other Shodan page. You can see the domain records and the subdomains which is a lot of the CMTS, which I don't know what it is. Comcast something, I don't, I don't really know. But that is that. Digging a little deeper into the domains. Now, let's get into the more crazy stuff you can find in Shodan. That was just some enumeration, web vulnerability, web security stuff. Now we're gonna get into the fun stuff. So let's get into the crazy. We're searching has underscore screenshot true, which shows camera feed preview with thumbnails. Enter. And look at all those chickens. Japan. Let's go. China. Administrator. Hell yeah. This one is a username, which my face is covering. <laughs> Don't want to show someone's name. Lots of administrator screenshots. Oh, open port 3389. Girl, remote desktop protocol. He. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, don't leave your RDP open. There are better ways, but this one is open. Anyway, oh, you can see the NetBIOS computer name down here. Hell, administrator. Cool. Another one we can search for is port 554, which is IP cameras. So sure, this one, high K vision IP camera, talk communications limited. Let's click and all these subdomains, as13285.net copy that let's just go to united states okay la spectrum camera open ports 554 oh, another one we can do s which stands for industrial control system so look this one in russia sure open ports 53 and 85 and high k vision ip camera as well another one we can search for default password the big one This one, Comcast, which we searched for before. Um, ports 22, 23, 80, 22, we know, SSH. Okay, as you see right here, this feature requires a one-time use of username Cisco with the password Cisco. Change default credentials for the love of God. Thank you. So Red Teamers um, showed in for recon before a simulated attack, which means they're paid to do it, it's legal. So if I was doing a pen test, I would search the company name to show their public facing IPs, then filter by Nginx or whatever, and look for exposed ports like RDP. So just to be clear, Shodan is not the issue. 
Shodan is very fun. You know, everything is super publicly available. But vulnerability exposure is the problem. So company, please get the basics, at least the bare minimum vulnerabilities under control. At least use MFA. So, hope you guys got something out of that. Um, you enjoyed it. Hope you're also a little terrified as well. So, make sure to like, punch all the buttons in the face, and I will see you in the next video.